Welcome to Joburg Today, I'm your host, Leroy Viaggi. The Miss Million Dollar Beauty Pageant was recently hosted and Nishina caught up with the event organizer for a one-on-one -on -one chat. Joining me in studio now is Hanlery Bauer from Events by Hanlery. What a pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Joburg Today. Great to have you in studio. Thank you very much. I'm very honored to be here and it's actually a lovely day out there. Quite a popular event now. It's grown a lot over the last 17 years. Just take us behind this year's pageant. Behind very, very organized chaos. Okay. <laughs> there is almost, we reached almost 700,000 rents worth of prizes from a car to cash to everything. And obviously it's, it's cell phones and it's uh, designer bags, designer eyewear. The girls are just being spoiled rotten. How competitive is it? Very competitive. You don't want to be backstage. I'm the mother of Are all the girls starving mothers. themselves? They starve. They um, give each other the look. Mm -hmm. They dress to kill. <laughs> um, the makeup must be perfect. The hair must be perfect. And, but yet, we have quite a lot of nice girls as well, mm -hmm. really helping the other girls. You've never seen anything like that. Maybe because I'm the um, worst person in the industry. Mm -hmm. I'm very strict. Yes is yes, no is no. And line up and do what you get told. Are we talking so, about models that are taking part in the pageant? Models and girls that haven't got experience that want to gain experience. Because of the event being the best in South Africa at the moment, the, and in this industry, the girls are very, very anxious to take part. And what leverage do they get out of this, the winner especially? The winner especially gets a trip to Italy, mm -hmm. where one of our girls actually has had an opportunity to do a launch for Armani, so a photo shoot, and we've had Jordan. That's huge. Yes, very huge. And we've had Jordan, she's done the Oro Blue. There's a store in South Africa with that. Most gorgeous, gorgeous stockings and lingerie mm -hmm. that all of us adore. And yes, so the girls get an opportunity to spread wings and fly. So mm -hmm. for them as well. And then from this event, we've had previous Miss South Africa's. So we've done very well with this, not what? being an agency as such, mm -hmm. but just doing the event and giving the girls a stepping stone. So it's a celebration of beauty coming with what? Personality? Personality is very important. We do ask them questions. And because we work with them for a year, we do watch them closely. And okay. we expect them to do a lot for their charities and for their sponsors. Mm -hmm. Within reason, we're not, you know, we're not l laboring the girls because they've all got, as we say, they've also got a life, but we You're do. building responsibility, instilling responsibility. Absolutely. All our celeb judges, wow. they judge only my events because they judge that purely because I'm so strict. And I feel that if you judge every little pageant or every pageant out there, you get to know the certain girls that enter, which is unfair to everybody else. So for me, it's all about being extremely fair. Mm -hmm. Well, we wish you all the best. But thank you very much. It was great speaking to you. It was a big pleasure. Hi, I'm Samantha Jessamon and you're watching Joburg Today. Check us out on Facebook, that's JoburgToday.tv and on Twitter at Joburg Today. Now, if you're on the move, PocketTV.mobi. That's Pocket with an I. Now, it's one thing to own makeup and it's another knowing how to apply it, which is why the Red Door event provided women not only the experience, but also the confidence to accentuate their natural beauty. Miss Elizabeth Arden herself um, said that she wanted every woman to leave an Elizabeth Arden counter having gained as much in knowledge and confidence as she had in beauty. And this is really what we stand about. We want every woman to not only feel beautiful on the outside, but really learn about their skin and learn about how to accentuate their natural features and to feel beautiful. Well, today we are having our amazing rector experience where we are educating ladies on how they can take good care of their skins, both with treatment and in terms of uh, makeup application, because we have amazing products. So we are empowering you with the products and with the skills, just to kind of give you a perfect look all season around. So summer, we were going to summer, now we're doing much more summer trends. So we're just arming you guys with the information to become your own makeup artist. Just like that. Use a foundation that is sheer, medium coverage to give you the coverage that you need, but also just keep it less, allow the skin to breathe, yeah? Soft eyes, soft cheek, a lot of bronze are in for the summer, and a nice lip. Not too much full-on color, but use a stain. That, by that I mean, 
use your finger, get a bit of lipstick, dot it on the lip just to kind of get a hint of the color and just use uh, lip gloss over it. That way that you get the benefit of the color, but it's also soft and nice and uh, glossed with the lip gloss. I remember when I just started wearing the makeup as a 20 year old, you know, I, I said to my mom, I'm ready. I think I want to wear makeup. She said to me, well, you can only wear it if you promise to take it off at night. So I think that's the one rule that I still stick by. I don't think I've ever had bad skin. Uh, I think I've always just focused on making it better. With Elizabeth Arden, obviously I've been educated and I, I've been helped to, to enhance that and to make it better. But my one tip is, wash it off. If you're gonna put it on, make sure you remove it at night. Then you can't go wrong. We are here at Santon City for the Elizabeth Arden Red Door Experience, where counter and social encounters go hand in hand. This is not only about beauty, but it's about giving women the knowledge and confidence about their skincare. I'm Zizi Ndebu for Chobuk Today. Hi, I'm Jade Hubner, and you are watching Joburg Today. If you're fashion savvy and looking for something new to add to your collection, why not check out Converse? Converse is very keen on listening to its consumers and its fans and really understanding what they want. And because we're quite active on social media, we kind of heard the outcry from all of our fans to really have um, a spot where they could shop cohesively, you know, shop for their sneakers, their clothing, their accessories, all in one space. And we don't cater specifically to any sort of LSM, you know, we're there for the, you know, the lower LSM, the higher LSM, but we still consider it a premium brand. And Melrose Arch really is a premium environment. So color is always a big trend every season. It's not just something that comes, you know, with a specific season, there's a specific color. A colorful collection is, you know, always a must within the Converse brand. The most outstanding like pair of sneakers we have at the moment is without doubt our collaboration sneakers so currently we've just launched the black sabbath they kind of flip over and you can see like the logo on the inside so they're very like um, they can adapt easily to your wardrobe. We have the Jack Purcell, which started out in a badminton heritage, which is a, a very classic looking sneaker. We have the iconic Converse Chuck Taylor All-Star, which is like the sneaker version of the LBD. Everybody's got one in their wardrobe. And then we have Cons, previously known as the Star Chevron, which everybody knows with the little star and the arrow, um, which is a skate inspired sneaker. And then for those who are really into the, the excessive fashion embellishments, we have the John Bovatos collection. For all street savvy, culture conscious Joe Burgers out there, Converse opens up the very first pop-up store in Southern Africa. And of course, Joe Berg had to have it first. And I think I'm gonna get myself a pair of these. I'm Butumalu Laratokwena for Joburg Today. Hi, I'm Tansy Katsia, former Miss South Africa 2007, and you're watching Joburg Today. For more stories, check out our special focus section, as well as our brand new show with creative parenting expert, Nikki Bush. If you want to know what's happening in and around Johannesburg, check out Joburg in your pocket. Well, that's it for me, Leroy. I leave you with Jeremy Loops down south. Back in ETV.
the want you to put me down south I'm missing and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love I didn't want you It's good to see you Josie, how you doing? I didn't want you to put me down south I'm missing and I will call you Squeeze you a little bit of love I didn't want you Anyway I didn't want you to 